Connected. Channel switched. <laughs> Still awake, Billy. Yep. Yeah. All right. Go stay safe. I'm just gonna send a telegram real quick. James, who's dying? You seem like you're panicked. I was sending telegrams every day. James? Can you hear me? Yeah? Have you talked to them yet? No, I just wake up. Well, have you decided whether you want to talk to Jack first or Dan? Oh yeah, that makes sense too. I am. Um, I'm wondering though if it's best if you talk to them first or Jack first. Well, I kind of need them for my plan to work. Yeah, but isn't your plan to talk to them first, see if you actually need talk, a plan? Talk to Burns, but Monty and Vivian are gonna get shot regardless. So, you know, I'll yeah, pull, I'll pull Burns aside. Way. I see what you're thinking, right? You're gonna pull him aside and then you're gonna send the guns in, right? I'm not sure that's the move. And also, you don't even know if you're on, you know, my side of it yet, right? Maybe, maybe I'm in the wrong, right? You don't know that. You haven't heard their side of it. No, I don't know. I'm not mad at Boone, that's the thing. That Monty and Vivian, I don't care about their side. They've already done what they've done. I don't care about their reason. It's something that's unforgivable. I can agree with that. 100%. I'm just saying, here, Boone, that. There may be some humanity I'm left in. I'm not going to shoot Boone, that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. No, I know. I'm here and around. Yeah. I just need you to know the story. And if you got any questions, I can tell you the truth afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, let me know how it goes. Be safe. Oh, well, I'm gonna... Are you not coming to medic form? Uh, I kind of hidden that to McFarlane. I didn't mean it was the best. Yeah, I'm trying. We'll see if I run into him or not. Well, he saw me for a bit, but then he just fucked off. So, yeah. I'm trying to figure out why Gavin Summons after me. Sam and Gavin talked a couple of days ago, and it's after that he's been looking for me. Well, you know exactly how I think I'm in the Yeah, and Gavin's been by there like twice, but I haven't been there either at the time. Alright. Alright, well, I'll probably see you later. Hell yeah, we'll be by Maddox if, uh, yeah. Alright, sounds good. Sending telegram to Alice, Mills, Jack, and Kaneko. Telling them to come to Medic Pond. So. What about now? Is that better void? Did you watch Billy the Kid yet, Boyd? Wasn't it? It's building up to be one of my favourite shows, I think. I love it so much. It's such a good show.
Exactly, it just keeps getting better and better every episode.
pump work. Oh, what a shame. I have a feeling they'll be waiting 20 years for anyone to respond to their telegrams. That's what happens when I wake up late. Solid. I actually haven't fallen off my horse in a very long time. I think uh, James Kelly's getting a bit of question on. Anything happen in the morning stream? Um, yeah, actually, it was a very, it was like a five-hour talk with Billy Joe Barber, just talking about everything, making plans with Boone and stuff like that. Um, Boone has taken over Emerald Ranch with Monty and Vivian, the two known rats, and he has challenged Billy Joe to a duel. So James is just having a very long talk with Billy, figuring out what the fuck was going on. And uh, he was going to go to Emerald Ranch and talk to him, but they weren't there. So. Oh, it was unpublished? Yeah, I went to bed right after, so I didn't have really much time. It was like 2 a.m. for me. I don't know why I did it so late. I've been real busy lately. Um, this testosterone's been making me want to work out all the time. That's pretty much what I've been doing. It's, uh, it's good and bad, because it's been taken away from other things, but, you know, it's not probably not the worst thing to be doing all the time, I guess. I want to see how much my local gym charges for BJJ memberships. So I actually might want to start doing that. I used to play rugby league a lot, but then I stopped two years ago. And I didn't really have the time to keep doing that. And I feel like BJJ would be less time consuming, I guess. Oh yeah, I thought you were talking about my last stream. I was thinking, what the fuck, what cattle shoot out? But no, Billy the Kid. Yeah, that was sick. And the and the breaking out of um, whatever that guy's name was, his Mexican friend. That was a really good scene as well. I love that shit. The gunfight, the gunfights in that show are really well done. Yeah, Dan, I'll have to go and check it out. Um, it's real close to my house. I can walk there. It'll take me like 10 minutes, so that's good. But, yeah, no, I'm not going to roll around with anyone that's fucking had not had a share in a week. That's just like an easy win, man. It's like cheating. Being real stinky is cheating. You don't focus on choking them out. You focus on plugging your fucking nostrils. Yeah, man, that was like, that That was one of those moments. I was like, holy fuck. I thought Jesse was going to shoot him or something. When they, that scene with, um, what's his name? Pat Garrett? With Pat Garrett, like everyone knowing Pat Garrett's the bloke who kills him. 
and like Pat Garrett just like, introducing himself like that and being friends with him was fucking crazy. Jesse almost cried, yeah, he wasn't happy about that at all. Damn. <laughs> You know what, Void, I wish like a scene like that happened with Clayton and Jack. How sick would that be if someone came to like the Kennelman gang wanting to meet with Jack and Clayton said, well, hang on, I'm the leader. But Jack, but, you know, they were like, oh, Jack's got all the infamy. And that was an argument? That would be sick. I, I would love to see a scene like that. But no, I don't think anyone in the Kettleman gang will get that notoriety until Jack Kettleman permas or leaves or does something, I don't know. Because it's just, it's just all, it's been all Jack since I joined the server, which is great. Must be real fun. But like, yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen. I'm gonna have to watch Young Guns. I think I will have to. I'll find the time eventually. That's bullshit, I've got the time, it's just, yeah, I'll find the, um, I'll be bored enough to watch it one day. Send him a location, that is gone. Then send me telegram saying he's going to sleep.
bewegen. Wait, that's at least always, isn't it? Horse, horse, what are you doing? What the fuck? Why could my horse just not stop? That was a tiny little hill. Tiny. And it fucked me. Fuck me. I shouldn't have been so fucking cocky. I've been saying I haven't crashed in so long and then I die. I fucking incap myself on a hill. Fuck, 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 fuck. I just lost my favorite Litchfield. No. I'm not waiting here for somebody. Fuck that. Now, don't tell Solo this happened. We'll just keep this a secret. Man, I'm pressed. I was, I was about to say thank God I didn't incap, and then I just kept rolling, dude. I just kept rolling. Oh, my God. 
Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Fuck! Fuck that horse. God damn, I'm gonna have to bind to the fucking Litchfield. Hopefully someone's got a Litchfield. I'm not getting a brown Turkman, it's so expensive. I've already got my Missouri Fox shot on this one. But I think any horse there would have fell. I don't know. I think I went down it the wrong way. I need to stop doing risky shit like that and just find a fucking path. Forty-three minutes in. True. I'll get a brown Turkman when one of them dies. Let's just get some RP. Fuck items, man. I don't need them. Oh, I thought my items were on me for a second. Back to square run. Look, I don't need anything. You know, I'm on my Emerald Ranch again. Fuck me. I need my Zook Horse. I need my fast Zook Horse. I don't want anyone to speak to me. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to get the gods butt off. How fast he got, damn it. Watch one of these bulls ram me now. I said the cattleman, that's all I need, come on. That's all, I'm not, I'm not even fucking... I'm all out of guns now. I think I might have one in my bank or my other horse. I'm not too sure. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. To be so awkward. Or if a ball rode through, that would be fucking terrible. Follow Orange Gamer.
but you know, like that in cap. It was just silly, man. I was so slow. I was rolling so slow. I would not have knocked anyone out. You know how long it took me to find Maddock Pond on the damn map? Why the hell are you so close to Rose, man? I was talking to Billy Joe. Also, Monty and Vivian are in uh, Emerald Ranch right now. Great, two more fucking rats. Does anybody have a Cattleman revolver or a Navy or something I could borrow? I got nothing, but, but but we can maybe go to some stable. Maybe I got some packed away on some horses. Alice, you lay a finger on them, they're gonna run straight to the fucking lawn. You're gonna go back for I don't know how many years. I told Jen that I would get it done, and I don't plan on going back on my word. We're supposed to start fucking dealing with these informants fully masked up. I don't know, brother. We got to do something. You're going to go back to Sisica and this man's going to fall apart again. Great. Can we handle these with knives? Don't shoot. Don't give up our position. I don't have a knife. Oh, what the fuck? I don't have a knife. You all right? You need some band. Where did that horse come from? I don't know. It's been there the whole time, Jan. I didn't even fucking see it until it kicked me. I, yeah, I do need bandages. Okay. 
Yeah, I can have some bandages. Jack! Come yeah, partner, what is it? Never mind. Mills, I thought about what you just mentioned. Thanks. Yeah. What part? The whole masking thing. We gotta do something, man. We can't keep going to Sissica like this. Not now. I'm already going for at least a year. So. Were you there when we took care of Morgan? No. He probably put your name in the testimony too, though. Jack, hold on. You said you want to start working with people who do time, right? That's the only way we can trust them. That's right. What if we get these people that want to work with us to deal with our rats? We got to do something. We talked about a Dragon Rat Foundation. You know those diamonds that we got? Fuck buying guns with them. If someone is caught dragging a rat through the street, in town, making a spectacle and going to Cisco. When they get out, we hand them a purse full of jewels. Par and feathering. So what? We're going to pay people to do our work for us. We got a pest. There needs to be a pest control. I don't know, Alice. It's getting out of hand, though. Go ahead. You're still young, Alice. Keep wasting away at Sissica. We've done it. Our fair share. Go ahead. It's never been this bad before. These, these are rats. You understand? Rats. Pests. You get a point we shoot them, we just get straight in this is here again. Wasting away for a rat bastard. Times are changing, maybe we should start doing that too. No, absolutely not. What? Are you crazy? You, not ratting, you idiot. You fucking, you just said drag a rat foundation. What the fuck you talking about? Maybe that's what we do. Listen, we drag the rat straight to the police department. And we still do that for? for them to come. That's what we're going to do. What? What do y'all think about that? No, we're trying to avoid this a good time. When, 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 when Morgan squealed, that day at that cabin, that day whenever we got rolled up on that cabin, you know, I was in town. I went looking for a doctor. Whenever we were getting chased by roads, me and Wesley held them down. Remember when we distracted them? They didn't charge me then. They didn't arrest me then. They didn't arrest me when I went to Valentine and was walking around asking everybody if there was a doctor. They waited and they waited. And they waited. Then when we had that standoff at the cabin, it was only after that that they charged me with it. The bottom line is they're sticking us in there longer and longer and longer every time. And Alice, I hate it just as much as you, but well, maybe we do need to change. 
The last person I knew who served a fucking long time in Sisica came out broken. And I don't want that to happen to any of us. Any of us here. You know the wallaby? He was in there. Hey, that kid, he was, look, he was twisted. He reminded me so much of Clayton. At the end. He was just like him. All fucked in the head. He was talking about being friends when he got out. Him and Edwin both. Those are the only people I see in there. It's either our family or them. But he was hella twisted in there. Pale eyes, bloodshot. He's only 19, 20. Listen, whatever happens, the law is still the law, and, and the law, and, and even the people enforcing the law can't breach it. There was a reason why they waited until that cabin to charge me with the attempted murder of Morgan. It would have been better if I took his body and dumped it in front of the sheriff's office and stood there smoking. That way, let the whole town see, man. If we get word they're informant, we're still coming after them. And we'll drop off the body at the damn sheriff office ourselves. I think that's more to your taste too, Alice. That'll be a big spectacle, won't it? That'll deter. Maybe take him to the to the fields, to the oil fields, in the heartlands. Cover them in tar, feather them. We, we almost did that with that fox fella back during the Van Horn days. I remember. I like that idea. You know, I was gonna say carve rat on them, but I, I I'm fine with throwing them in the oil and sticking some feathers on them and bring them to town. Here's the thing, they got this about 300 days, man, for attempted murder. That's what more, more Gant sinking got us. Any additional bullshit tacked onto that, man, you're looking at so much time. How many times did this mop, how did these guys ride after us, man? Too many to camp. thinking I'm already facing time I might as well go and shoot Monty on top of Vince. all this I go on James I just think Boone's the only problem here I don't want him pulling the gun out on me listen um there's somebody that should be here for this discussion, two people. Caniclo and, and Wesley. They'll give us some deep insight into the law. We're running low on funds. What do we need? That's I need some new guns. Look at you, your holster's oh, empty there. Uh, it, it is, brother. One, two. Listen, I got a plan that I've been brewing in my head. Because I know that's what you're hinting at, right? That's right. 
I was thinking, you know, the armored wagons, people could be in there without the law knowing that there's people in there. They can be positioned in certain places throughout the town at checkpoints with our people inside. Who step out very conveniently when the time is right. That sounds like a shootout with Lord White and Happen. You got any other ways? No, but I need to go piss. Never mind. I was thinking of maybe I was let's say Blackwater. I was thinking of having even three buggies in the Blackwater stable, hidden. And when we leave, we run through the cracks, get to the stable, get on two by two by two, a shooter and a rider. I know Billy just found a new clip jump in your Valentine. You hear what I'm saying though? Yeah, I do. If those buggies are hidden, we step into the stable and get out with three of them. First of all, they're not going to open fire in town. And if they did open fire, we'd have three people returning fire. Those buggies real fast got away with Pip. And the shooting from them, it's a lot easier than on horseback. You could use a long arm. This gentleman is a great shooter. She's a great shooter. You're a great shooter. I'm not too bad with a wagon when the reins are in my hands. Neither is Pip. That might be the move. His way around one as well. We have them hidden in a building somewhere. And we just got to lead the lot to think that we're going elsewhere. We get in those... We get in those buggies. And like I said, you know, we'll have three shooters. That'll be way too much for them to deal with. As soon as they start opening fire, we return to fire. When are we plan on doing this? Whenever y'all give the word. Uh, I've been running around with pennies in my pocket for a long time now. I'm ready whenever. Emma just lost a few guns, so I need some. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna go write a telegram to Wesley and Kaniklo. Are we staying here or we're moving elsewhere? I go to Hansburg. I gotta take a piss first, though. Man. Okay, okay. You know, some money to get a cattleman when they get to Hansburg, I was. Yeah. Thank you. What about you? No, you keep it. You're oh, you got a shotgun. Anyway. Okay. I should have some guns on some on a stash somewhere. Yeah, just in case you run into trouble or something. I've been talking to Billy a lot about this whole Monty and Vivian situation. I took over Emerald yeah. Branch, you know that. You mean uh, that right now or back in the day? No, now. Billy got pushed out at Emerald Ranch, he's at Matic Pond now. Also, Boone challenged him to a duel. Challenged Billy to a duel? That's right. Aren't they on the same fucking side? No, it's this Monty fellow, he's polluting his brain. Monty's been poisoned from day one. Motherfucking crybaby is what he is. 
I got some explosives. So whatever we're ready to do this. Jack. I know, I know. I'm just I'm just making sure he's well fed. I gotta kill him. Uh, You don't got no weapons because you fell off your horse on the No, I don't want to kill me that. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? get anywhere you know i heard legend in the in the americas in the south americas of legendary hunters who would outrun animals they could lo run longer than horses and they would chase down deer any animal any animal i mean any prey even the most fastest ones you could think of there wasn't one that they couldn't outrun my mother's people used to hang hunt kangaroos with boomerangs spears and they're really fast i believe it That horse came out of nowhere. That ain't my fault. By the way, another motherfucker that I've seen in Sissica, who's doing a hard time, is um Barry's Beyond Son. Beyond Son, Beyond Son, Beyond Son, Beyond Son. Beyond Son, Beyond Son. Yes, Fuck would he be in there? Beyond Son. Beyond Son. Was that the horse up there? No, this one was here way earlier too. Beyond Sun, Beyond Sun, Beyond Sun, Beyond Sun. Beyond, whatever, he did 47 times Beyond Sun. He's, he's footless. Yeah. By the way, he's fuckless. Footless, motherfucker. Oh. I don't know which one's worse. What's he doing hobbling around? He's crawling on his belly, man. Oh, God. I was, I was, I was worried that his stomach was gonna chafe but he got these he's got these sticks these cylinder like sticks and he has them built this contraption where it's on his belly and he just rolls around everywhere <laughs> pretty ingenious by the way that's funny hey maybe he can get a shotgun leg yeah what's a shotgun leg 
And now uh, Mill Sword is gonna lose his hand one time and we're gonna try and put a gun on it. And the doctors will do it though.
be riding straight for the basin. Did Wesley send you a telegram? He did earlier. You're an ungrateful bastard. What is, what is wrong with the one you have? It's a long barrel. A long oh barrel cattle? It's too slow. Oh my god. I can't draw it fast enough. Come on, do it, James. Long barrels? I don't even hear what you said, Dallas. Good. See, now this one's quick. I don't want it too slow. I appreciate it, Alice, but... Oh, now you say you appreciate it. I just don't like it. Ooh, I have no money. Oh, I'm going to be picky about the gun that I have. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of guns, I'm going to go get my Navy off the left hand. I'm sorry, what? Pipe in as my navy. A really expensive one. Good. My treasure. James, you need one? Uh, yeah. That wasn't a very you convincing yes. are like a spoiled fucking brat. The, what oh, happened? Yeah. Did, 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 I'm not you spoiled. Have a He's an ungrateful fucking bastard. Why? What happened? Man, I'll take that long barrel. Oh, I will take that long barrel cattleman. I will take that long barrel cattleman right away. Let's go buy some bullets. This one's a fucking snub nose. <laughs> Why is everyone like what if I had the barrel so much? You see what I mean? What is this shit? You, you are shit, James. <laughs> That's so small. He's complaining about your snub nose, Schofield, man. Give me that back then, motherfucker. Gladly. There's a snub nose and you're crying about I didn't even know it was snub He's nose. Crying about everything, Jack. That's what I'm trying to say. Give it back to me, Dad. I'm not crying, I'm just a gun connoisseur. Oh no, you're absolutely crying. Give it back to me. <laughs> you get none back. I got my cat open so I need. Are you really not gonna use this snub nose? No, it doesn't go anywhere. It's fucking tiny. 
It hits harder, you know that, from close. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, if I'm gonna shotgun if I'm close. You know what you're like, James? You're like those people who ride around on big horses and they're compensating for something. I have a tiny horse and a big horse. It's all about the situation. I'll be more concerned about those Arabians. People who ride the Arabian horses. What do you mean? Well, they're too small. Oh, well, they're too small, are they? Powder's got yeah. a lot of difficulty. Powder's situations. different. Powder's bigger than the average oh, Arabian. <laughs> Okay. You're not going to send that. I'll be outside, okay? Listen, motherfucker, did you buy a knife? Get yourself a knife. Oh, good point. I'm two dollars fifty short. No, because then he's going to ask for money later. Oh, sixty dollars! Thank you so much, Alice. Yeah, don't you ever complain or ask for anything else? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Did you just? I didn't mean to. I'm trying. I'm trying to pick my hand up. You make your, your way all the way to Owangila, not Owangila, behind Aurora. Alice, you know that I... <laughs> I was leaving him behind, keep going! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey Alice, you know how we were talking about powder before? What? There's a horse at 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 Van Horn that looks exactly the same. Okay. Well, I just thought it was you know, powder. Okay. That's all. Well, it wasn't. Did he? Did he get back he? up? Yeah, I'll watch it. Oh, there he is. This motherfucker is the worst horseman in the damn world, man. <laughs> I was nowhere near you, Jack. I'm gonna kill you one of these days, man. There was a rock. There was a rock, all right. Fellas wearing pajamas. I need some bandages, man. I nearly died back there. We should start giving out horse riding lessons, Jack. James, you don't even don't say a word to me right now. I am pleased. How you doing?
Yeah, what is it? Best sequestrator on this damn crossing ever seen. James, I, I've been literally this whole time thinking about how to fucking kill you. How to how to how to give how to how to have you die. That's what I've been thinking of. This well, you won't be able to do it when I'm on a horse. It's too damn good. Why are you riding next to me? Go front or stay back, man. This I <laughs> forward. It's called the Kelly crisscross. Put him on the horse. No, was, no. Oh, oh. Oh, so no, no, who's no, no, the question on now? Did you hit the sign? Did you hit the fucking sign? I was nowhere near you. I was all out the road. Right into the sign. Oh, I haven't fell off my horse once in this ride. In this, this ride. This, this is a bad push ride there. When I get, I'm gonna strangle him to death. He thinks I'm, I'm gonna strangle him to death. I believe you. I'll let you. Okay. Hey, what the fuck, Alice? You deserve it. I haven't done shit. I'm innocent. gonna make me ride better if you throw a, a knife at my horse's ass.
yet, so I will see. It is. What about horse brush here? Yeah. You know how banged up and bruised I was from his first escapade? You better wipe that smile off your face, James. I'm not small one. Shields. Yeah. Really fucking blew my other leg off. It's fine. I like that mustache, by the way. What was happening? Really? I never knew it was cool. Jack is in a bad mood. Is he? Yeah, he may have fallen off his horse and blamed it on me. <laughs> Twice. Well, good. Debating if I should clobber him over the head. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Also, I wrote Summers a telegram today. Yep. Or yesterday. Apparently, he's going after him. Billy Joe. Really? Apparently. Huh. Interesting. I called him a leech and a parasite, so I think that'll really help. Hmm. I got you a gift, Alice. Who? Okay. That was kind of him. Yeah, I'm grateful. Hell, I'm grateful. Uh, 
a joke. Fucking hell. No, no, no. <laughs> Every day is an adventure, Alice. Well, Alice, I don't know, what am I meant to do with this knife coming out of my the horse's ass? Pull it out. <laughs> and then it's gonna bleed everywhere. It's gonna be real upset. Man, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm gonna get some water, fellas. I'll be right back. Told James I was debating whether or not to clobber him over the head. <laughs> How are you doing, Sunshine? How are you? Doing good. And how about you, Sunshine? I'm feeling great. Yeah, I will watch it. I'm just not out. At least it's quiet out here. Mills, quick question. How many yes, James? How many pairs of ponchos and white shirts do you have? What does that have to do with anything, James? I'm just wondering, is all you wear? Same with Alice, actually. Oh no. You missed. Oh. Did I miss this time? No, 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 no. Get on. Yeah, it's good to be back. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I missed you guys. I'm permering. Guys, I'm permering. Yeah. Let's go up the hill. All right. Chat I had to dye my hair because I was riding around with Vivian for the last while. Vivian, the good one. The good Vivian. Or the bad good. Vivian? The good. Of course, the it was the good, good Vivian. You two go on a little date. He uses the mouse like a foot pedal. <laughs> Say more tiramisu. Sloney baloney, man. I love that. Who came up with that? I'm using that. I love how Pepo tries to hide behind Jack. Well, I'm playing the character, man, and he's pissing off the character, of course. I deserve that. Oh, no! Kill me, man! Kill me! I can't take this! That's my karma. That's literally my karma, man. You know, Literally my karma. Heroes. Just leave me here. Debating whether or not please, the please, just leave me. Get, just leave me. Go. Put him on the horse, Alice. No, no. Just leave me. 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 Don't even just let me die here. Let me die here, please. Kill, kill James. It's his fault. I swear to God, it's James. Kill him for me. Bills, kill him, please. Bills, kill him. 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 Bills, it was worth it. <coughs> uh. Hello? Don't speak. He's gonna fucking leave me in. Mm -hmm. The last I seen you, you were bleeding from the ears. He was gonna die, Wes. Y'all were trying to get me to leave. He was gonna die there. He was still he, breathing, and you guys were telling me to say goodbye. <laughs> he trouble. told us that he was ready to die. That don't matter. We weren't ready. I wasn't ready. When are you gonna be ready, Jack? Never. We don't say goodbye to each other while we're still breathing. We'll say our goodbyes when the person is dead and buried. If anybody else was in that bed, the same thing would have, yeah, I would have done the same Cliff. thing. Would you?
for Kaniklo years. Thank you. I would have done the same to him if he didn't back off. That was. Wes, I won't stop you if you want to get your vengeance. What vengeance is there to have, Jack? Like I said, Jed's alive. I'll tell you the vengeance there is to have, Wes. Goldie just sent me a telegram saying she's gonna meet Gavin Summers alone. Wesley. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry I did that. I really am. I was praying to God that you would survive. But if I listen to you, and if I listen to Kaniklo, Jed would have been dead, period. I'm not happy about what I did. I was getting ready to gun down Kaniklo too. Well, I'm glad that it was taken out on me instead. And I, mean I had that. no. I, I had mean no, that. I had no choice in that moment. I told you, don't ever get between me and Jed. I told you that. Jack, I'm not being sarcastic when I say that. I'd rather it hit me instead of Kaniklo. He didn't deserve any of that. He wanted me to walk away too. Say my goodbyes. No one here says goodbye to each other unless we're dead. I'm sorry I did it, but if the time, if it happened again, I would have done the same thing. Even if it happened a hundred times over. Do you know why I was trying to get you to say goodbye? Jack, I rode with a man for many years. He became like a mentor to me and our gang. One night he was stabbed in a back alley while the rest of us weren't around. The rest of the gang, they rode to go see him. As he laid in his bed in Valentine me I was so hot on vengeance that I continued to search for those people that did that to him the whole night I wasn't around when he said his goodbyes to everyone I deeply regret that night
she made the right call Jed's alive and that's all that matters what do the doctors say about you Wes I'll be honest heads aching something fierce I talked to Lark yesterday and she said to give it a week see if it's still there I find myself just irrationally irritable to say the least People always talking. It's be a lot more overwhelming than it used to. Be fucking bomb. I have to work very hard not to shoot people. It's for the way they talk to me, Jack. This man in the telegram office in Blackwater started talking to me and Moxie the other day. Moxie had to talk me down from just blowing his brains out because of his fucking voice I'm alive Nils That's all I can ask for until Gavin's in the ground. By the way, I wrote that fucker yesterday. I reminded him of who he really is. It's a lump of flesh on the back of a horse getting dragged for miles. I think I called him a leech, a parasite. Needs others to do his work. I just bet that made him real happy. How's everybody else? You still keeping tabs on that list? Mills? Go ahead. Add so much to it. Fuck it. Gonna take a lot of pages here. Go ahead, add it to it. Might as well. Riding 60, but it runs right about 15 minutes ago. Heading west. Who was? Summers. Amazing. That'll make Kai your spot for Savin Gummers right there. What do you think he'll do if he spots you? Oh, 
I'm sure he'll take me and torture me and make me regret my telegram I wrote. The whole time I'll just spit in his face. Goldie got it in her head that she's gonna go talk to him alone. She ain't. Yeah, she's in my dead fucking What's bed. It? What's he want with Goldie? No oh, idea. Bad, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Alice is Listen, right there, a man. Lot, there was a lot going on in my head <laughs> at that moment. Yeah, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you don't know what he wants with Goldie. Listen, I'm of the I'm of the mind when someone wants to handle something, sometimes alone, they gotta do it. When Kaniko <laughs> wanted to talk to Peter Gray alone. He wasn't alone. That's different. Goldie. I'm just yeah, saying. I don't, I don't think Goldie's ready for anything like that. If I may, I think Summers is looking for a war. Yeah, of course he is. He's already trying to go after Billy Joe for God knows why. Listen, if we want to take out Summers, all we got to do is get James on a horse riding towards them. That's right. He only yeah. threatened to kill me after he knew I was riding with all of you. <laughs> I actually ran into them in the middle of the woods the other day. Purely by accident. Uh, Billy told me that he's been meeting with Sam Bass. I don't know if that's something to be thinking about. Sam Bass and Summers have been meeting. Yeah. yeah, sort of fuck what, man. I know Gavin's moving out west there in McFarlane, so might be a we been, thing going we on been, there. We've been meeting with them too. Yeah, I know. I know. You know, Jed was mighty wary about that Sam Bass, by the way. He does have a super tunnel. Well, listen, I'm gonna be in my head for a minute here. Alright. You know what? Is? Yeah. I would tell you that the pain gets better. But it takes a real long time. After that fella shot me in the head. It's something you get used to living with. Some bright spot of sunshine on my life. At least you still got that pretty face and two eyeballs. Yeah, that right. <laughs> this face with half a cheek a, uh, burns from a lightning strike that hit down in Saint Denis. The epitome of beauty. So we working on to be, Vivian. Yeah, <laughs> she seems to be fine with it. Yeah, oddly enough. Oh, is everyone obsessed with this Vivian? I was going to stop hearing about her. I mean, once you hear that voice, fella. It's magical. Yeah. She's trying to convince me not to die so it's something else you need to be convinced not to die Aww, she likes you listen if summers is dead by the end of it i don't really care what has happened to me what does jed think about this vivian lady but you know who will was gold who's that You can't bet your whole life on vengeance, Wesley. That ain't really living. Kind of golden coming from me, but... I got a lot of people that care about me. 
and for a while with you, I might be making assumptions. That feeling might have cut off, but I think you're building your own list, and I'm, there's people here that do care about you. care about y'all too just really want Gavin dead that being said I'm not gonna put any y'all at risk They're coming after me, then it might be better that I ride on my lonesome for a while. <laughs> Shut up. That's a joke. Yeah, and the fact that Canuclo don't like him at all, it's not for me. Jack did just say add him to the list, so I don't think you'll worry about that, Wes. Stole my cigarettes. I'll shoot him. Oh, unforgivable. Not ten cent cigarette. Listen, it's the principal. <laughs> oh my god. You know that lady made me dye my hair while riding around with her? Yeah, I didn't recognize when, <laughs> when you walked up. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. If Gavin found us together, he would... brutally torture her too, I'm sure. Just don't let him get close to you, because I recognized you once I was <laughs> right in front of you. Listen, what's with this? What's with this hairdo, by the way? This is the hairdo I always have. <laughs> he just told us. It's just that I put some dye in it for now. You want it? Well, by a uh, piece of shit going around scaring everybody. Yeah. Okay. Listen, we need your help. We were brainstorming earlier. Right now, Goldie is in Sissica. Pip is in Sissica. Jed is in Sissica. Marquis is in Sissica. All our people are in Sissica. They're in Sissica because Taipan went and filed deep testimonies. They're in Sissica because Morgan went and filed deep testimonies. That's the only reason they're over there. These are people that have been riding out on us on a daily basis for a long fucking time. They haven't served one second or done even a minute in prison in jail or even being questioned I don't think based off of anything that our crew has ever said or ever will say but the fact remains that all of our people right now are doing a hard time and continue to do it there is a big rap problem these are people that are that are warring with us by their own admission they've been carrying guns riding out on the daily looking for us shooting us down trying to get us killed the moment they get touched, they are filing testimony and putting us away behind bars for a long time. Something needs to be done about this. Because we can't operate. Tomorrow we might go and we might hit someone else. Today we might hit someone else. One of our enemies might fall in our lap. Right back to the hoop scale. Immediately. You know, there was a time when... We settled our beefs away from the towns, away from the fucking prying eyes of the law. Seems like that that has been that has changed. It's not like that anymore. We gotta put our heads together and we gotta find a fucking solution. Hmm. 
Well, I suppose we can make sure they don't talk. Yeah, how are you gonna do that? Just cut all their tongues out. Yeah, you're gonna cut their fingers off too? They just write it down on a piece of paper. Yeah, I was thinking that. Listen, what's gotten into you? Everything's fine, Jack. I can see much more clearly now. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. No, motherfucker, you're twisted. The hell has gotten into everybody? We're all already twisted, Jack. What are you talking about? No, this is a new degree of twisted. Wanting our enemies dead? I don't know, maybe I am going soft. It's fine, we'll take care of things for you. We got Taipan and everybody they associated with. We have any of the Muppets out west, the Morgans, and everybody they're associated with. In particular, we have Drake and Morgan, the two people that filed testimony. Okay, those are priorities. Okay. Drake fell asleep. Uh, who else would have? Who else would have talked? He was the only one present there. We got Bailey too. Oh, forgive me. I was mistaking him with the. Uh... Fella I shot in Thieves Land and I forgot his name. Oh, I won't Charlie. Be Charlie, that's right. I won't yeah. be surprised if I get tagged with that. The the old I mean the uh the whole the whole Taipan, that goes without saying, but right now on attempted murder charges Drake is responsible for that. And so is Morgan. And the two gangs they're associated with. In addition to that. There's the cuts and everybody these motherfuckers are associated with that's been active them hell actively helping them hunt us down. Now we got the Summers crew that hasn't actively ridden out against us, but it's bound to happen anytime. Hopefully Goldie can have that talk first, see what the fuck he wants. And then we'll go from there. Maybe things will get a lot sour a lot quicker. Here's open. That's a lot of folk to deal with. And on top of all of that, they're packed for what they did to Jed. They're on the top of my list. Likewise. By the way, did I kill that Desmond fella? I haven't heard anything about him since. I think you might have. Who? That fella I gunned down outside of Rhodes. Who's that? Hoosman. Oh. You gunned, you gunned him down? Hoosman? Yeah, I gunned I didn't him. Hear about that. Did that. I don't know yeah, who that is. Yeah, when was this? <laughs> Wes put was... six in him before he got shot. <laughs> yeah, the rest of his gang was not very happy with me doing that. Well, fuck him, they've oh. all left. <laughs> Let's hope he is dead then. Yeah. yeah. People say worms can regrow their heads, but you know, pretty great dog, and they all left, so. Well, like I was saying, though, that's a lot of people, man. Just strictly numbers, considering all those folks, that's already 30 people. And again, yeah. everybody that's out over there plotting against us. Just keep that in mind. Bill. That's a lot of people, but... Mills, how many bullets do you have? Um... At least a hundred of each. Okay, Alice, how many bullets do you have? <laughs> I don't know. A little over 50. James. 100 in total. Yeah, is that enough, Jack? Is there more people than that? So we can Always go to the gun store people, and buy more. It, it ain't that simple, motherfucker. 
Every single one of these people you tag, you're gonna be doing hard time for. So what, I, what do you want us to do, Jack? Just send I don't know. Ass? No, I, I want to fucking come up with a solution. Is what I want. I like to drag a rat foundation. Oh, I have experience in that. We get all the folk together that are doing hard time. We know they ain't ratting. Real outlaws. We put a list together. We give them that list. And we pay them. For everyone they get. So what, we're just gonna start paying people to hit all of our enemies that we're at war with? Whenever they squeal on us? Well, they ain't enemies, they're rats. It's different. <laughs> Desmond wasn't an enemy, Morgan's not an enemy, yeah, they're enemies but... and rats. But what are we gonna do? We're gonna shoot them and then go to Cisco, and then we're all in Cisco. And then there's a couple of us out here that are just gonna get tagged. Without anybody to be there. So we all get picked off and die. I just don't like the idea of somebody else Nobody likes the gone. idea of it, but I don't like the idea of being in Cisco when my people Nobody are dying. Does. Would you rather... Do that? Would you rather? I don't know. Say Mills is by himself and you're in Cisco and he gets shot. Or would you rather? The solution to that, James, is that we all just kill a whole bunch of people. Just make sure all of us do it. Then we're we all, all going together, together and we can hold hands. Well, let's yeah, go fucking right. gun down Vivian and Monty right now then. They're at Emerald Ranch, just sitting there. Really? Yeah, but the issue with that is I think I got leaps of time ahead of everyone here. A little bit of time, too. Time here. You want us to catch up to you first? I'm looking at a little bit of time. I've got at least 10 counts of fleeing and eluding. I don't know if they stack them that high, but... Probably got an attempted murder in there as well. Wes, what do you think about hitting a bank soon? Oh, that sounds real nice. I've been running lower on funds lately, so... What are you thinking? I'd rather see Monty in the dirt. Oh, me too. That Morgan fella, I'm pretty sure he's Tomorrow left town. Thursday. I won't right, be well. I won't be around too early tomorrow. It'll be a bit later than usual. Probably about three or four hours from now. Well, four now. Listen, if Jack doesn't want to uh, go to prison, I mean, like I said, we can do it for him. None of us want to go to prison, that's the thing. I'll just take all of it then. <laughs> when they send their saying, people into the prison, then I'll just keep working. All I'm saying is, we're fine with our allies right you're now. Like a Muppet, you know that? Fucking like, you're talking like a Muppet, are you crazy? Here we go. You want to die and rot in Sisica? No. People need I you out here. By the time you go in there, Goldie's gonna get out and she's gonna get swallowed up by the wolves and where are you gonna be? Doing time in Sisica for some rat. You're gonna go in there and she's gonna come out. All of y'all are gonna go in there. And we're gonna be separated again. But we need to make a decision. But sitting there with no plan ain't doing us any favors. Every time somebody goes to Sisica, everybody else suffers. Alice goes to Sisica, but Mill starts falling the fucking part. Etc. 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 How about this? Every person we pick up, I'll just say I'm gonna go have a talk with them, and you all walk away, and then I just blow their heads off, and then when the law come and figure out somehow that you were around. You just say, I thought Wesley was going to go talk to me. You think we're going to do that? You think I'm going to do that? It's better than just sitting around. There's got to be a solution. We've always a... adapted. we got to adapt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're fine with our allies riding out and gunning folk down. We're fine with that. 
but we just gotta look at it a different way. If we've got folk running out, trying to find rats and dragging them to the streets, we just look at them as allies, because they're doing us a favour. Sure, we'd rather do it ourselves, but we can't really do that. Goldie shot Morgan. The deputy told me, Morgan said, Jack Kettleman, you shot him. You're getting charged with attempted murder. At that point, I figured I'd take the blame. So I, I, so I said yes, and it was only me. Now, the good news was they didn't charge Goldie with that, but Marquis, they did. They don't go by what you say. They go by what our enemies say. Say we're riding right now, and we bump into someone from the west, from Taipan. There's only one thing we can't do, and that's to put them in the fucking ground. Hammer their fucking head in. But something's gotta be different. We gotta think of su something else needs to happen. Because we're gonna be right back in there. You're talking about being twisted, Jack. Let's get a little bit more fucking twisted. They go St twisted. Start fucking torturing them, then they won't fucking speak. the hammer and nails back out. Start crucifying these motherfuckers like Peter Gray. Maybe I'm getting soft. I don't know. I guess I'm getting soft. You know whenever Jed was dying, he told me, Jack, get the pack for me. You know what I told I said, I don't give a fuck about it. I don't want the pack. I wanted him to be alive. I didn't want the fucking pack. I didn't want my enemies. I wanted Jed alive. Peter Gray died, and Alice went to prison for God knows how long. And I almost lost him. Jack. For us to stay alive, our enemies need to be dead. Because they're going to keep coming after us. And they ain't doing time for it. Just like you said. That's right, and I said we fucking adapt and we figure something out. That's, yeah, and you came up with that Dragorette Foundation on the green with it. Seems like no one else is. And what if we bump into these Muppets first? You know we're going to handle them. I'm saying all this stuff now, well, that's but if a I fact. see one of them, you know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do if I see one of them. I know what everybody here will do. But I wish I had a plan for us. None of these plans... Come without sacrifice, that's the thing. We're in between a rock and a hard place right now. There's no easy decision to make, but we need to make one. You see what happened to, to, to Morgan? How many gang he been a part of? How many gang Annabelle been a part of? Hell, even Gavin Summers. Everybody he rides with is brand new. I'm not planning on doing that. I want us to stay alive forever. And ever and ever. Because there's no replacement for Mills, by the way. Or anybody else over here. When you go to prison and you disappear, you're putting Goldie's life in jeopardy. When I was young, I was too stupid to understand that. I'm just saying. Everybody knows here what we're going to do if we bump into the enemy first show you when we see them even if we see them right now but we got to think while we can while we have a moment I bet you that's what the lies hoping for maybe that's why he told me that Morgan unsqueal they'll throw Morgan away and get us sent to prison we always say that to the law every deputy and every sheriff is expendable but how much more expendable are we? Ten times more. You think they give a damn about more? They'll throw Morgan to the wolves. We'll go after him, torture him, do something crazy what they expect, and we're right back in the hooskel. Then the rest of our partners are out, all alone, with even more enemies. Yeah, well, one seems to be gone, Jack. 
and his group with him. You know how that happened? Alice went and handled it. Oh, I wasn't even talking about Alice. I was talking about that Desmond fellow. That's two off the list, Jack. They all left when Peter Gray died. When Alice did that, this Desmond fella, he ain't leading nothing. He's a fucking idiot. Well, he was riding around with six of his fellas there before. Well, they went too handy when he got shot, were they? Listen, when Jack was doing his business in St. Denis and getting ready to set up bounties, I was the most vocal about it. Told them I ain't betraying my principle. But I've grown since then. I've seen what happens to people who serve long times in Sisica. We're not doing this to every single one of our fucking enemies. We're doing these to the motherfuckers that we tagged, got back up, and proceed to fucking rat on us. There's they're dirt beneath our feet at that point. We already got them. What do we do when we bump into a Barda? I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep my tempo in check. What, what, what should we do then when Man, we bump I, into him? If I bump into Morgan, I'm throwing him off fucking Manteca Falls. And we remind them, if they talk, we'll come back even harder. It's either that or we take a fucking notebook with a piece of paper, write rat on it, Stick a knife in it in their chest and drag their asses to town ourselves. Public display. We've been using that word so much. Just because there's been such an infestation. I'm, I'm afraid that it's starting to lose its power. Have all y'all noticed that? That's right, but if you give the cross and a rude awakening to it, imagine dragging a rat through the middle of fucking Valentine and telling everyone there this is what happens when you rat. Exactly what I was thinking. That sort of thing does work. I would gladly serve fucking Sisica time after turning in one of these rats. If it gets the point across. Oh yeah. We could fucking lawn them up in town and give them the fucking firing squad. Imagine just riding through saying, hear ye, hear ye. We found us some rats. We took care of them for you. You know, everybody that comes to us, and there's a lot, always talking about they want to prove themselves, they want to help. How about every time that happens, we just give them the name of these rats? Right now, for a fact, for a f yeah, you did, you did, uh, you did say that. I guess I'm agreeing with you here. Morgan and Drake, that's number one for sure. Because we got proof on both of those. Might as well just throw the whole top end in there. 
Bailey, I'll go proof on that fella. We'll add him too. Montin Vivian, I don't think they ran to the law, but they still gave all the enemies the information. I'd call that ratting as well. Maybe they should be the example. I know they're at Emerald Ranch right now. They haven't gone to sleep yet. As I said, I'm already doing time. I don't think Monty will have, make much of a difference there. Derek, maybe you should do what Solomon does. You have other people take care of this work and distance yourself from it so you can keep leading whoever's out here. What are you implying, motherfucker? That's actually who I'm thinking of right now. Is the fucking cuts. We still haven't even gotten them. Any of them. Lucille, that's all. And we're about to do and we're about to do more time in Sisica now for some rats. Nothing's happened yet, Jack. I'm saying this because I fucking care about y'all. It's one thing for me to do time, but to see my whole family over there, all of us in there. I feel like we're being outsmarted by everybody, the law included. What they're doing ain't smart, Jack. They're, it's easy. That's why they're doing it. You know, they always say when it comes to working hard, you're not supposed to work hard. You're supposed to work smart and make it easier for yourself to get results. The law knew that they had a testimony against me for Morgan. They did not grab me. They did not charge me. They waited for the standoff in the cabin and only hit me with it afterwards. They sent me away for way longer. They just waiting for it. Right now they're licking their fingers. I bet you it was on purpose that they told me that it was that motherfucker Morgan that done snitched. They know how we're going to behave. We're going to go right back after them. <laughs> we're going to go right back. We're falling into that fucking trap. What are you suggesting, Jack? I don't know what I'm suggesting. I know that if we bump into any, what we're gonna do. Fuck it, let's write this list. I'm all out of ideas. I, I honestly am. What about the Dicenzos? They don't like rats. I don't want other people doing our work. Like Jack said, we've already handled them. They keep popping back up. Women to fucking gun them down every time they open their mouth. That ain't sustainable. We can't do that. We've already got too much on our plate. We still got Josh Carter, we still got the cut. Taipan. We've got all these enemies. We can't do shit to them if we're in Tusica. To I'm lose, lose. In fucking Sisico, man. What are we supposed to do? They're gonna take meals. When's the next time I'm gonna see him? What if he gets out and I'm dead? For a goddamn Morgan. Don't say that. Didn't you just hear this gentleman? What happened to his partner? He never got to say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye or have to think about saying goodbye before or after. I want to grow old with you motherfuckers. I 
No, you're against it. I also know you're against it, Wesley, but still got Pip and Kay to talk to. Yeah. No matter what we do, we need to come to a decision together. Yeah. And also so far, I think we're on the same page. Jack, you too. I'm agreeing with this idea. Like you said, they ain't even people in my eyes. They're worms, rats. They're doing the easy thing because they got they don't have the balls to come after us them, themselves. They got to. You're saying we're you're saying we're outsourcing our problems, but what the fuck are they doing? They're, put, no they're putting the law after us. I, I got an idea. I got an idea. It'll connect what Mills is saying and what you were saying. Listen, we got that Monty and Vivian. They want to prove they ain't rats. They want to prove themselves. Let them go ahead and take out these enemies of ours. They were hanging around the ranch. They were eager to help. Maybe they should be the ones taking care us. of it. They ain't gonna do shit, Jack. They're not. They've already. She... She Listen, me, there's nothing they can do that will make me forgive what they did. You don't gotta forgive them. But let the dead take care of the dead. Ain't that what they say in scripture? Let the dead bury the dead. But they ain't gonna do it, Jack. There's no way in hell they're gonna do that. It'd be great if they did, but they ain't gonna. This Monty fellow been here and he's blaming me for his problems now, apparently. Fuck him. He went out west and we were getting gunned down by the week and told them everything, everything they knew. Put all of us you know at that, risk. You know Could have got us all killed. Do you know that for a fact now? Put two and two together, Jack. They were at the ranch, they left as soon as we did. And then they went out west. With Annabelle, with Peter Gray. Monty and Vivian both have a history of ratting. They've both done it before. You're right. I thought he confessed something to you more. He had the top to confess. He's gonna die on that hill. Riders, riders. What the fuck is that? What a fucking cow. You see that? You see that person? It's two of them. Whoever that, whoever that is right now, they, they'll go right now and they'll write a telegram that they don't see Mills. He's trying to have that elf with the tomahawk. I feel like this is going in circles. It is. It Atlas, is. you need to start it getting is. poison throwing knives ready. <laughs> All right. Listen, I, I said what I said. I think everybody said what they said. Yeah, we need to talk to Kai and Pip. Yeah. We should leave. All right, where are we headed? Let's go out. Let's go out to the. Let's go to the. To the. To the. Act. Can we call it something else other than the fucking God's butthole, please? We don't get a thieves. What? Thieves. The law passes through thieves so much. We should not go there. We got a nice little speakeasy down there. No, nice little speakeasy until there's a fucking shooting. It all happened days ago. Howdy, howdy, motherfucker. Hey, gentlemen, lady, doing? Just peachy and yourself. Doing all right, just out here hunting. With the tomahawk, interesting. What you out here doing? It's just taking talk. you. Now, they... What's this y'all's Casey. names? Well, my friend Casey. Uh, I'm Jonathan. They call me Jabaris. What now? They call me Jabez. Yeah. Jabez. Yeah. They call him Alpha Fish, too. They got all sorts of names. Yeah. You two go up to a PD often. 
to to what? With Petey. What's that? That uh reservation up in northeast I think. Yeah, near Valentine. Uh, I've been there, yeah. I ain't been there. Ever done anything up there? Done anything up there? No. Clay too. What was that? I didn't hear the last part. Bella. My team speed crashed. Connected. Channel switched. Listen, y'all, uh, we're gonna be splitting. Y'all take it easy. Jonathan, All right. Schmacy. You guys have a good one. Yeah, Dan. I had a lot of fun. That was a good scene. Jack is another thing to do.
Channel switched. Oh no. Channel <laughs> switched. I'll see y'all at Benedict. Let me go. I need to go to sleep. Alright. Hello. Uh, see you tomorrow. Alright. Stay yeah. safe. Good night, dude.
I'm just going to quickly start a raid because, uh, well actually I might just... I gotta get the uni. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. I'll be back tomorrow. It's kind of a short stream to be honest. But uh, yeah, I got uni to get to, so. Channel switched.